Hey, hey, it's your boy. I'm a little sick, so if you hear a little gravel in my voice, you'll know what that's about. Uh, I just wanted to show off the Eddie Roll V8 control that I've got in Max for Live that is a free download. Um, definitely worth a check out if you use Ableton or Max for Live and you're doing cool stuff with old video gear. We, if we look down the bottom of the window, we can see it here. So this is the Eddie Roll V8. Uh, it's got a more complete MIDI implementation than the V4. You'll notice when I click the V4, some things disappear. This is very much still a work in progress. And you will notice the uh, donate button, which, uh, you know, if you find this useful, buy me a coffee, help me make a newer, better version. The uh, Seafog V8 Simple VO. Uh, that's what this plugin in here, it's a MIDI effect that um, will allow us to control via MIDI our analog video mixer. Right now what we see over here on the screen is a camera that is looking at the V4 and the overlay that we see here is from the preview out. So I've got that open at the moment. Normally you would just view the uh, main out. That's what this is, just a straight camera. But because we want to see what our plugin is controlling, I'm plugged into the preview so you can watch the things get manipulated. So let's take a look. On channel one, over on bus A, which is what we're looking at now, we've got this camera and on B we've got feedback. So we've just got the output run into the input. You get a nice fadey thing. I'm only using one input, but obviously the V8 has eight inputs and the V4 has four inputs. Uh, We've got control of the T-bar, so we can fade from X and Y. We've also got uh, transport buttons. Um, we can also pick how we want to transition. So that's now a special effects fade. That's now a wipe. Uh, we can select which input we would like. Ba boom ba boom zero to seven, uh, we can also do this. So we can also control the effects. So that's turning on invert. Um, you can change the effects, obviously go through the menus, change the effects. These are just the preset effects that are on uh, preset one for me. I've also got um, some extra built-in stuff. We've got random in, which will select a random input. And of course we can, which will send one random effects value. So let's do that on the channel we can see here. Nice. So, you know, not particularly exciting, but um, a bit of fun. Uh, down the side here, you will see that we have the settings that the V8 needs to be in to use this plugin. Uh, by default, a lot of the MIDI controls on the V8 aren't set up at all, so it's a pretty quick effort to just go through and set these two MIDI control channels. Uh, all of the knobs are available as uh, available as an automation. So let's check it out. So here what I'm doing is just quickly flicking from the feedback channel to the video input channel. And you'll see as we enter the feedback, as we enter the feedback, it kind of freezes the frame there. Introduce a bit more. So now you can see I'm introducing um, some of the flip.
So that's a very quick little demo of what you could do with this plugin. And like I said, it works for the V8 here, also works for the V4. Uh, the noticeable difference that you should notice is that the V4 does not have control of input select. Uh, that was only added in the V8 version. Um, so download, link is in the description. It's free, uh, check it out. Max for live, um, video control. If you do anything cool with it, you know, let me know. Show me what kind of cool stuff you're working on. I'd love to check it out. See ya.